Okay, focus. welcome to game number 106, and we haven't played E4 in a while, so let's do it. And I'm gonna play the Rui Lopez even though it is not on the on the opening plan that the other guy recommended. A6, I'm just gonna go back. My, uh, my Spanish bishop um, goes to B3, we want to keep it. And guys, before you ask, it is okay to move the bishop again and again because my opponent is only moving pawns. Now, I'm doing d5, trying to take advantage of their king in the center. So, typically, we want to move the, uh, the Spanish bishop to c2, keep it for as long as we can. But here, I think I'm just going to go ahead and, hmm, yeah, let me just do d6. And, again, the idea is to try to put pressure on that king as quickly as possible. I could simply take on d6 or just bishop d5 or something else because that pawn is not going to go anywhere but i need to make sure that uh, it makes sense guys if i were playing a classical game i would think 20 times before giving up that bishop from b3 but here i think i'm going to be fine notice that now my rook on a1 is pretty much active it's, in, it's on the semi-open file putting pressure on the pawn on a6 and for the most part I'm just trying to develop as quickly as possible. So queen c7 is now not possible. And it, this should be a little bit uncomfortable for, for the black pieces. That pawn on d7 is isolated. And maybe I could just add more and more pressure to it. Honestly, I think they developed um, very quickly, better than I expected. <laughs> so good job by my opponent. All right, try, time to activate the rook. I'm putting that rook on the one. The other one, again, is on a, on a semi-open file already. So I'm going to keep it there for, for now. Now guys, happy to take that bishop of theirs. They don't have the pair of bishops anymore and that bishop specifically was pretty powerful um, aiming at my king. My rook, I like it on the A file, but I think this uh, major pieces tripled on the D file is pretty, pretty powerful. All right, time to move the queen. Should I go away or should I stay close by? Hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna go here and... <laughs> All right, let me defend. Oof, I missed the tactic, guys. Guys, tactics time. See if we can figure out the tactic that I had and I missed. Don't forget, if our pieces are active, tactics are going to be in the air. Come on. I mean, we could still do it, but I'm pretty sure my opponent is going to do something about it. If you found it, let me know in the comments because we shouldn't be missing this. There we go, guys. They missed it. So now we're going to go ahead and just do F4. And this is going to be a fork. So let's see. Let's see if they're going to, to let us do it. Of course, they have to move the queen. And then f5 is just a pretty nice, pretty nice fork. And fork. <laughs> so there we go. Of course, we're going to get the rook. It's okay if they take my bishop. Now, in between move. Another fork, not so good, but it's a fork. And now, guys, all I need to do is simplification. They moves back, another tactic. So that's going to be a skewer. And I think this is just, guys, this is just too much. Now, oop, <laughs> careful not to drop any pieces. Um, and yeah, I think now this is just, this is just winning. And I missed another tactic. What's going on with, with me today? Yep, I mean, I mean, we're winning no matter what, but I missed queen takes e8, guys. So there you go. Easy game with the Rui Lopez. And with that said, I will see you guys on game number 107.